Welcome to Getting Started with LabCoat. LabCoat by Precog is a friendly tool that allows you to analyze data using a simple yet powerful query language called Quirrell. In the next few minutes, we'll take a look around the interactive development environment and get some idea for its functionality. In future tutorials, we'll dive in a little deeper and explore some of the interesting aspects of Quirrell. Let's begin by closing this panel here. And that'll pop up some windows to show us some of the various features of the interactive development environment. First over on the left here, we have the virtual file system. If you have a precog account, you can upload data through a simple drag and drop interface. It supports JSON, CSV, and zip files that contain JSON and CSV files. Until then, you can still look at all the preloaded data and run any preloaded queries or develop your own. Speaking of queries, we have the query browser down here. And that's going to come with some preloaded queries to give us some example functionality and as well allow us to maintain and update our own queries as we need. To the right of the query manager is the results window where you can get either a table, JSON, or a chart for your results as well as download the data itself. Further to the right we have the uh, support pane and that's going to include both a tutorial page, a reference guide with all the functions, of, functions in Quirrell, and the IRC channel, which is a great place to hang out with community members and get some of your questions answered. Uh, to clear up some more space, we're going to go ahead and minimize that, but it's a great thing to keep open while you're getting started. That's just going to make more room for the real star, the Quirrell editor. Here you can run queries by hitting Shift Enter on the keyboard, or run down here, this button here. So let's go and get that closed. Uh, while in future tutorials we will go ahead and dive into uh, more interesting aspects of Quirrell, we're just going to look sort of superficially at a preloaded query right now. So we double clicked on that, had the query run up here. Uh, a nice feature of uh, LabCoat is that if we highlight some selected text, there's this Run Selected button shows up. So we can go ahead and run, run just that. And so all this is doing is showing what the order's data contains. One of the reasons that Quirrell is referred to as a simple language is that the queries written in Quirrell tend to convey the intent of the author of the query. Uh, so as we look at here, we can notice we've assigned some uh, orders data into an orders variable, there's some sort of threshold we're going to care about later, and we're making some sort of new variable here called orders with tax, and we're using that by combining the orders data with some new variable here tax, and we're generating that tax variable just by multiplying the tax rate times the total, which is just exactly what we'd expect it to be. Uh, then we're going to use a for all statement to break this down by user ID. So we're getting all the tax by users. And then eventually we're going to return that result of the tax by the users where the sum of the taxes they paid is greater than some threshold we put in. So let's go ahead and run that query. And we get back some user IDs and the amount of tax they paid that was above some sort of threshold. So we can either get this in a table format, JSON, or as a chart. And if we're on the data scientist end of things and we really just want the answer specifically to this question, we can go ahead and download that data, either in JSON, compact JSON, or as a CSV. Uh, but if we're on the developer side of things, we can also use LabCoat to develop these queries for use inside web or mobile apps. And here we can download the code and we can get it either in Quirrell, a compact version of Quirrell, uh, JavaScript, HTML, or PHP, and further languages will be supported in the future. Uh, so that just gives you some idea of what LabCoat can do with your queries. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a few remaining features of functionality to help you get where you need to go. Uh, one really useful feature is this uh, history button, which shows the recent queries that have been run, which is really nice if you forgot to save a query, uh, and it's also good for debugging. Uh, you can also, if we'd made some sort of change here, uh, maybe we wanted to do raise the threshold to five, uh, then we notice that this query isn't saved anymore and we could resave it using the save button here and we notice that asterisk goes away to remind us oh we have saved that uh, if we're having some sort of problem we could go ahead and fire an email off to support using this email icon so let's just go ahead and send that away we also could copy a link using this button here uh, one thing that's good to remember about this uh, is that it will contain uh, your API key, uh, which does provide the access to your data. So be careful about sharing uh, query links uh, with people who you don't want to have access to your data. And finally, we can generate additional tabs so we can have uh, multiple queries uh, in different windows uh, at the same time. Uh, so that's going to wrap up uh, getting started with LabCoat. 
Uh, give us some feedback about what sort of future tutorials you'd like to see, and thanks for your time.